Well, if you're a fan of the Muay Thai discipline, this guy just might become your favorite fighter on the roster. Real possibility that that's what you see tonight. Just the outstanding Muay Thai kickboxing game that he has really employed all the way en route to the UFC. Outstanding kicks, a lot of knees and elbows, punches from different angles, and any one of those could be fight enders at any given time. Scary proposition for the UFC veteran he draws here tonight. This guy is a Muay Thai striker, and he would love to keep this fight standing where he will have a distinct advantage with his eight points of attack, knees, elbows, punches, and kicks. Ah, yes, here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, and as Dana White calls him, the father of modern mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee. Making the walk tonight, you can make the argument no man has had as much of an influence on UFC fighters as Bruce Lee has. Quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. Man, it would have been great to see what Bruce Lee could have done inside the UFC. He is making the walk tonight. This guy has one of the best abilities to take a shot that I have ever seen in all my years of commentating on fights. His chin is truly world class. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and some differences in reach. We go inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, Tom Fire Kid Duquesne. And now he's using his opponent. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. This Good has luck. been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down run, right you now. You round go. one. <laughs> Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice punch by Lee. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Tags it with the left, Joe. Slips the punch. This is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. The kick lands to the head. Oh, man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Huge block there. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Duquesne. -Wall. That one hurt. Fainting with that kick. 
try some. Oh, and that's it. Oh, straight right. He is rocked. How about that shin? Nice leg kick. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Under two minutes in the first round. Oh, heavy leg kick there. Not sure he can take many more of those, Joe. Huge oh, left hand there. Big straight punch. Here's a nice inside leg kick. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Seconds now to go in the foot. He tagged him with that right hand. Oh, head kick! Oh, he lands a hook. Oh, big kick! 30 seconds to go. Oh, very nice. Lands the jab. Good combination. Oh, head kick. Oh, what a leg kick. Huge leg kick. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Here's a perfect head kick. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. And here's a devastating blow that almost ends this fight. Amazing highlights from that Listen, round. That was awesome. And need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be aggressive. Be smart. Ariane Celeste with us tonight. There you go, second round. You ready? You ready? Let's round go. two here. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Inside leg kick is there by Duquesne. Well, nice shot. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh, beautiful jab there by Duquesne. Well, they continue to exchange. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Tags him. Hand speed, man. He's oh, jumping knee! Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss. By Lee. Pretty good jab there by Duquesne. Nice spinning back fist. Almost hits him with that left hook. Stung him with the left there, Joe. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice jab by Lee. Plans an outside leg kick of his own. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Duquesne Oh! He's out! Landed a huge kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, a tremendous kick to end the fight tonight. That might be the biggest highlight of his UFC career. He certainly didn't telegraph it, but he got full force and extension behind it, and his opponent had absolutely no chance after that weapon was thrown. A perfect land and perfect execution to get the knockout with that kick here tonight. And here it is again. And he's out. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Amasaki is called to stop for this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance.